Hi, I'm Lindsay Alexander and this is MyBankTracker.com. The reason to invest is because you have the possibility of earning money besides working or having your own business. When you put your money in some sort of investment, you should expect a profit. While many people understand the reason for investments and the benefits of a successful investment, it can be a challenge to figure out how to get started. This is what you should know when you're just starting out. There are actually several different types of investments. As a beginner, you want to know and understand the options, their tax implications, and risk level of each type of investment. So first, there are bonds, which is a fixed income security which allows you to earn an interest on your money as well as the original money you lent out. When you purchase a bond, you're lending money to government or companies in exchange for interest. Bonds are a very low risk investment opportunity because they're almost guaranteed risk-free, meaning you'll get the amount you invested. In exchange for offering a risk-free investment opportunity, bonds offer very little return on your money. Then there are stocks. When investing in stock, it's equal to buying a small percentage of ownership in a business. You can vote during shareholders' meetings, and you'll receive profits the company allocates to company owners, which are called dividends. Stocks are considered high-risk investments because the stock must increase in value. While you're at risk of losing your investment in stocks, there's also potential for a relatively high return on your investment if the stock you purchase does well. And another type of investment is an index fund. This is a single investment that allows you to buy partial ownership in several different companies traded on stock exchange. It ensures you have a diversified investment portfolio to limit your risks and gives people with a small amount of money to get started with investing. And Mutual funds are a collection of stocks and bonds that are purchased by a group of investors. When you buy mutual funds, you give a professional mutual fund manager the ability to select specific types of bonds and stocks that are purchased within the fund. The idea is you can invest without spending time and effort researching all available investments since the manager will have, no, have more knowledge of the market and potential for the fund to earn a return than you would have known. And alternative investments are the majority of investments that fall under either stocks or bonds or a combination, like mutual funds. But there are other opportunities for investments, including forex, real estate, and gold. As a beginner investor, these types of alternative investments are probably not the best place to get started. Most people are taught in order to make money, they have to go to work or run a business. Which basically means, to increase your income, you have to work more hours. Even if you're able to work more and make more, you no longer have time to enjoy any of the money you earned if you're tied up at your job all week long. So investing your money in stocks, bonds, or mutual funds allow you to earn a return for the money you commit to the investment and through the power of compounding interest. The money can continue to grow without you trading your labor hours for profit. While you're working in your job or running your business, your investments can also be earning money. Compound interest generates earnings on your assets reinvested earnings. The longer your money remains in a particular investment, and the more frequently the interest is compounded, the more money you will earn. This is why the younger an individual is when he or she begins investing, the greater their potential for earnings will be. To make your first investment, consider an index fund. You might look at companies like E-Trade and ShareBuilder to get started or make a bond purchase directly from U.S. Treasury. I'm Lindsay Alexander with MyBankTracker.com and together we're going to build your finances and rebuild the world.